attack since 7th of October, al uh, Qudra said. Israel launched, quote-unquote, at least 296 medics were also killed in Israel attack since 7th of October, al Qudra said. Israel launched relentless air and ground attacks on the Gaza Strip following a Hamas attack on Israeli border towns on 7th of October. The Israeli death toll in the Hamas attack stood at 1,200, according to official figures. U.S. President Joe Biden vowed to support Israel militarily during the Hanukkah reception held at the White House on Monday. In a report by the Times of Israel, Joe Biden told the reception that the surge in anti-Semitism in the U.S. was sickening as a result of Israel attacks on Palestinians. Biden said, quote, unquote, we continue to provide military assistance to Israel until they get rid of Hamas, but we have to be careful. The third world public opinion can shift overnight. We can't let that happen. Saying that his commitment to the safety of the Jewish people and the security of Israel, its right to exist as an independent Jewish state is unshakable. Biden noted, if Israel did not exist, not even one Jewish person would be safe today. Quote, unquote, you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. I'm a Zionist, he said, reiterating comments he made in the wake of 7th of October. Israel is allegedly ready for another round of talks to free the prisoners of war currently held by Hamas. A report by an Israeli TV channel called Channel 12 said Israel was ready to carry out negotiations and that the Israeli prisoners to be swapped would comprise of patients, the elderly and women. The news report also found that securing a new deal next week is not a possibility, but Israel seeks to launch a new process to put pressure on Hamas. A senior Israeli official was quoted as saying that circumstances have matured to strengthen the deal. The official claimed that Mossad chief David Bernier was given new instructions to lend them in to what mediators would say, adding, quote unquote, if the Qataris want to talk, we will let them. As part of a prisoner exchange deal reached between Israel and Hamas, 81 Israelis and 240 Palestinians in the Gaza Strip were released by the fire. The news continues on the English language broadcast of the Voice of Turkey. Britain did not support UN resolution on Gaza as it failed to condemn Hamas. The UK did not support a recent UN resolution requesting an urgent humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza because, quote unquote, there is no condemnation of Hamas, the minister said Monday. Taking lawmakers questions in Parliament, Andrew Mitchell, Minister for International Development and Africa, said Britain felt unable to support the resolution in which 13 members of the Security Council voted the US and the UK abstained. The US vetoed the said resolution. Quote unquote, there was a lot of good stuff in the resolution which Britain does support, but there was no condemnation of Hamas, and for that reason, we felt unable to support it, but we did not oppose it because it has a lot of very really useful and important stuff in it, and therefore we abstained, he said. Asked when the UK will join many other countries calling for a permanent ceasefire in the besieged enclave, which I recall that they support prisons, but not a ceasefire, defining it as fully implausible. On the Israeli attacks, Mitchell reiterated the UK's support for Israel's right to defend itself, but added that all of the parties must abide by the international humanitarian law, saying that, quote unquote, Gaza should be under Palestinian control, but added that Hamas has no place in the future of Gaza. Israel has bombarded the Gaza Strip from the air and land to impose a siege and mounted a grand offensive in retaliation for a cross-border attack by Hamas on 7th of October. At least 18,205 Palestinians have been killed and 49,645 others injured in the Israeli onslaught since then, according to Gaza's health authorities. The Israeli death toll in the Hamas attack stood at 1,200, according to official figures. Task to become new Polish Prime Minister. Donald Tusk on Monday evening was nominated to become Poland's new Prime Minister. In a vote held at the Parliament, 248 MPs approved Tusk's nomination.